I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. And, oh, that was nuts. Any, uh, <laughs> anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. Hey, I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they we're going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> uh, yeah, look, great talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up, you know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Go into the phones. I'm a big fight fan. Love a bit of a punch up. Since my wife and children got taken into a shelter, my friend said, Chuck, you obviously love hitting things. So I've gotten into boxing. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jackson? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat and uh, at my seat, too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> now tell me. The fight game? That ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy going to take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Bediston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy, a world of possibilities. But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. 
We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. Become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Hello? Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Colombia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Colombia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great and long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids your rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree. Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't teep. Harder! Oh, sorry. Got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome! I can't wait! Thanks, man! Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. Paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture. But a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Bediston and this has been The Wild Traveler.